After winning an historic gold medal in Pyeongchang, we welcome to the floor of the big board uh, the U.S. men's curling team, John Schuster, Tyler George, Matt Hamilton, John Landsteiner, and Joe Polo. Guys, welcome. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very amazing. much. Um, we're going to, you're going to do a little curling here on the floor in a few minutes, I think, but I wanted to ask you, uh, in Pyeongchang, you guys were on the brink of elimination, and the story goes, you went and had sort of a moment on a patch of grass outside the venue. What did you say to yourself? Um, it was just literally sitting there looking and being like, taking in like the grandeur of the moment, being like, this is, I mean, again, silly or stupid and that I could be having such a bad time being in such an amazing place. And uh, when I come back here tomorrow, I'm just going to enjoy this and, um, and really make sure I enjoy the moment with these guys because we worked too hard together for our three years. And you guys never lost after that? <clears throat> no, no. We, uh, we had the perfect scenario. We played the top team in the world when we had nothing to lose. We just came out loose, had fun, uh, and then realized that's the team that we are and carried that through the rest of the week. John, uh, can you explain to viewers the dynamic of what makes a great curler? Because there's all these dads around here who think, I can do that! <laughs> uh, flexibility, <laughs> uh, finesse, and uh, I don't know, good teamwork. Uh, is, it, is there a lot of uh, upper core strength? I mean, the, uh, what is the workout regimen for a good curler? So uh, curling's really about um, being able to recover and be ready to go at 100% for another 30 seconds after about a minute break. So we, we do a lot of interval training. Um, the core obviously helps with stability when sliding and stuff like that. So, you know, we definitely put in the time in the gym as well as time on the ice. Do you think um, U.S. is on the brink of new dominance in this sport? <laughs> well, I sure hope so. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, new curlers that are going to be coming here, coming here shortly. So yeah. I, I think uh, we'll have a, a lot more depth. Yeah. Uh, finally, before you, we show, you let you show it off, Mr. T, talk to you, <laughs> right? What did he say? Uh, he just basically was like, "Hey, hey guys, I've been at home watching you guys. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, keep keep doing what you do, because it's yeah." So it was. Uh, <laughs> Keep going. Exactly <laughs> okay, uh, so we got two guys with lav mics. Maybe two of you can just explain really quick what what a what a, a typical uh, stone throw looks like. When, what yeah, you guys like what goes through your mind when you're trying to direct? Okay, well, as as a stone's coming down, uh, the most important thing you can do as a team is communicate. Um, so what, the second the stone is released, typically me and this guy who are the sweepers for six of the shots. We kind of discuss how fast we think it's going, and then we relay it to the other end. And then they try and give us information on how the orientation or the direction that the rock's coming down the ice, and if that's what we were hoping for. Uh, and then if it's not, we sweep to adjust uh, the line and adjust the speed in which it's going. So uh, the, really the biggest thing, and in my opinion, what separates good teams from great teams is communication and how you can uh, relay information and then use that information. Yeah, yeah incredible. What with the unspoken language you guys have. We're also proud of you. Welcome. Have a great time. Everyone gets a turn, right? I believe yeah, today. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.